Today is April 5th, 2024, first Friday of the month of April. And today's gospel is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the gospel of John chapter 21, verses 1 to 14. Good day, my dear friends. Most of the disciples of Jesus were fishermen by profession. Most of them. Of course, when I say fishermen, fishing is their way of living. Right? Now, when Jesus invited them or called them to follow him to be fishers of men, that is to be his apostles, they stopped fishing and followed Jesus for three years. So they quit fishing and followed their master. From being a fisherman, they became fishers of men. Now, when Jesus died, when they lost their master, what happened was some of them went back to their old ways of living. They went back to fishing again. And that's our gospel for today. However, after several, several years of not getting used to of what their expertise before, the gospel for today says they caught nothing. You know? They tried so hard. In fact, the gospel says, from night until daybreak, they keep on fishing. Perhaps, you know, they, they, they did all their best. They tried all the tricks in fishing. They tried everything, but still, they caught nothing. They got a skunk, as they say. They get pickled. I'm sure... The experience of the disciples in today's gospel, perhaps there are moments in our life that we are like the disciples. Why? Because like the disciples who went back for fishing, we tried everything in our life, but nothing happened. We did our best, but our best is not enough. We tried, but we failed. We dispose all our resources, but no positive result. We tried our absolute best and still nothing being good enough. You tried to change your life, maybe for better, but you ended up doing the same sins, doing the same addictions, and doing the same routine. You promised to yourself to stop doing it, but you ended up like a slave that you cannot refuse. You tried to be a best person, but still others misinterpreted your ways. Today, let us learn from our gospel. If you felt frustrated and discouraged and disappointed because you caught nothing, because there, there's no improvements on, on, in your life. Listen to Jesus. The words of Jesus to the disciples is the same words he's telling us today. Why cast the net to the other side of the boat and you will find some? Cast the net. Meaning to say, try again. Try something new. Convince yourself that you have no limits. Why focus on the left side if there's the right side? There's a front side and the back side. N never give up. Try something new. And three points that I would like to share with you today. Number one, when some things in our life does not work well as what we expect, never give up. Never surrender. Try something new. Adopt new methods. Because life has two rules. Rule number one, never give up. And rule number two, always go back to rule number one. Friends, as what they say, success is a journey, not a destination. And second, when we are disappointed, when we are discouraged, never be tempted to go to your old ways like in the case of the disciples, from fishing to fishing. 
try something new. The Lord wants us to grow, learn new ways, start something new and fresh because life is great and amazing amidst of our failures. Do not be accustomed to put your net on the right side if there is another side available. You know what I mean? Finally, when you are disappointed, when you are discouraged, listen to Jesus. He's telling you today, cast the net to the other side of the boat and you will find some. Listen to Jesus because when we listen to him, when we listen to our master, we will no longer drag the nets of problems, but we will drag the nets of uh, success, not the dress of frustrations, not the, the net of burdens, but we will drag the nets of uh, blessings. Friends, listen to Jesus because when we listen to him, we will enjoy a life filled with overflowing blessings. Today, never give up. Try something new. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your family, make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.